Hello and welcome to another review made by Optic Straight. Today um, I have here binoculars from the newest series Blue Horizons from Steiner in configuration 10x42. Um, let's first talk about Steiner, uh, which is a well-known company located in Germany. They were founded in 1947 uh, and at that time, they offered uh, one of the best optical devices uh, in the post-war era. Uh, and then in 1967, Steiner produced new binoculars concept, a high-tech macro loan housing uh, material. Um, and in 1970s, uh, they integrated technologies such as nitrogen filled housing, integrated compass, and so on. So in the field of binoculars, Steiner um, is a really renowned producer of uh, optics. So a Blue Horizon series, uh, it's a new series. Um, it's an entry level one by Steiner. Uh, the models came out in, uh, sorry, were introduced firstly in, 19, uh, sorry, <laughs> 2019. Um, and then they hit the market in 2020. Uh, so there were only two models first uh, introduced in configurations 8, 8x22 and uh, 10x26. But uh, last year, so in 2020, um, they added two more models to the series, uh, which are uh, this one 10x42 uh, and one smaller one compact, uh, compact binocular in a configuration 8x32. So now we have four models in the series. Um, to be honest, I'm not quite sure where these are made. Uh, there's not a uh, single information uh, written on the binoculars, as far as I know. Uh, couldn't also find uh, the information on the internet. So, um, but given the price, uh, these are priced at 339 euros. Um, I suppose these are made in uh, somewhere in Asia, so not not in Germany. Um, they weigh around 740 grams, the same as it's written on the box. Um, we have uh, 13 centimeters uh, in width and 15.5 uh, centimeters in height. Uh, sorry, length. Uh, modern design. I have to say, I really like the design. Um, we have some nice touches here, this pattern on the sides. Um, I think they are quite stylish, they, an, they are not of traditional design as we are, uh, uh, as we have with most binoculars. Um, Macrolon housing uh, with rubber on the inside, uh, sorry, outside to uh, secure a grip, a good grip. I also have to say these are really nice to hold in your hands, they fit nicely. We have a single bridge design, um, so you have to uh, keep in mind that the smaller two models, uh, so 8x22 and 10x26, both have dual hinge design. So with this model and with 8x32 we have only a single bridge design. So. Um, yeah, so um, I'm not also exactly sure uh, if they are filled with any dry gas, uh, which would make them fog proof. Uh, Steiner doesn't give that information anywhere. Um, and this would be a shame if you were to use these binoculars in uh, extreme weather conditions or uh, in a situation where you would use this in at in winter when it's minus 20 degrees and then immediate, immediately um, bring these binoculars uh, to your house, for example, when where it's 20 degrees. So the difference would be uh, really big. And at that time, if they are not filled with any dry gas, they would probably fog up on the inside, which would be a problem and uh, hard to get rid of. So um, I'm not sure if they are filled with uh, anything, but I hope so. <laughs> I hope that they are. 
Um, so now let's talk about optical characteristics. Uh, we have schmidt beacon group prisms, um, which contributes to the compactness of these binoculars. We also have 100 uh, meters of field of view at 1000 meters, uh, which is quite narrow for this configuration. Um, it's a shame that the field of view is not wider, uh, especially when you don't have the 8 power uh, model in the series. Um, and sorry, 8 by 42, I meant uh, not the 8, just only 8 magnification because we have 8 by 22 and 8 by 32. Um, and now let's talk about the famous thing that makes this uh, Blue Horizon so special. It's the Autobright technology. So this is a new technology uh, introduced by Steiner with uh, these Blue Horizons. Uh, all the models have this technology. Uh, and it's basically a technology that helps you look at brighter objects without any eye strain. So light transmission rate auto adjusts when you look at uh, brighter objects like um, in the bright sunlight, uh, in the snow where the reflections are really bright. So, um, and they basically sacrificed the light transmission in the specter of the visible uh, light in blue color. So when you look at bright objects um, through these binoculars, you get a yellow tint and uh, eyes basically react positively uh, with a more yellowish tint um, because yellow light is more natural, it's more welcoming to the eyes than blue color. Um, so they basically lowered light transmission rate in the blue specter. Um, in the reality, uh, if you look at the objects in um, which is really bright, so your image is bright, uh, the image becomes darker. Um, you also can see this if I turn the binoculars like this. You can see there is a bit of uh, here uh, yellow tint. Um, but this, they wanted this, so they wanted to uh, have the yellow tint to um, to eliminate the brightness uh, which could um, uh, which could um, then um, not make the image quite comfortable to uh, view. So where to use this kind of binoculars? Um, they are, because of the configuration, they are an all-round binoculars. Uh, mainly, I would suggest using them in uh, for traveling or vacations. So to use in the summer months or in the mountains when it's really bright due to snow or something. Um, there also would be great uh, for beginners. Um, 10 power magnification, maybe it's not that great for the first time users, uh, but great if you want to inspect any details because we know that because of the uh, 10 power magnification image uh, can be quite shaky uh, at times. So when you're losing, uh, using them for longer periods of time, uh, the Hence, your hands could get a bit shaky. Now, let's talk about the focusing. We have a fluid focusing wheel, uh, smooth turning, just enough heart. Uh, it's in the center here and it's uh, easily accessible with one hand, uh, sorry, one finger. Uh, we have diopter adjustment here on the uh, left eyepiece. So you can also adjust the diopter. Um, and then we come to the eye cups, which are made out of rubber. Uh, they are of the foldable type, which Steiner has uh, quite a few binoculars with these kinds of um, eye cups. So uh, you use yeah, you can use them folded down if you're a glasses wearer or a folded up uh, if you're not. Um, I think twistable eye cups would be much more preferred uh, because the rubber on these uh, can 
with time, uh, it can wear off, it can rip here uh, when you're um, constantly putting them down. So uh, I think twistable eye cups would be more uh, suitable um, for these kinds of um, binoculars. Um, let's talk about what's, uh, what comes in the box. So we have a carrying strap to put on your uh, binoculars. Cleaning cloth. Instruction manual, of course, in multiple uh, languages. And then the neoprene soft case uh, where you can store your binoculars here. Um, so they don't don't get uh, damaged. I really like this pouch. It's it also has a belt loop, so you can attach it uh, to your belt. Um, it's a nice addition. Um, and that's basically it. We don't have any more accessories. Uh, we also don't have any uh, covers for the. Um, objective lenses or eyepieces, which is um, quite common with other binoculars, in, especially in this price class. Uh, but there is not, um, there is no objective covers and eyepiece covers. Um, at that, um, sorry, here with uh, these ones. Um, so maybe that's a bit of shame. Uh, but you get ten years of warranty. Um, which is a big plus uh, because it's the renowned producer. So um, I think 10 years of warranty is really, really nice. Now to maybe sum up some um, good points and bad points. Um, these are priced, as I said, at 339 euros. Um, and some of the greatest things about these binoculars is are uh, that they have the Autobride technology, uh, which is a step forward in the development of binoculars, in my opinion. Uh, and they are designed with the users in mind. So um, to eliminate um, any bright image and uh, giving your eyes um, nice, comfortable viewing. I also really like the design and the style of these binoculars. Uh, they are quite elegant looking uh, and modern, uh, which is a nice um, addition in the field of binoculars. So maybe some things that could be improved are um, the foldable eye cups, which could be uh, twistable. So uh, you could uh, twist them up uh, and down. Uh, then we have the narrow field of view, which could be a bit wider, like we are used with other 10 by 42 models. Um, and optically, honestly, they are not that great, uh, considering the price. Um, maybe the edges um, could be a bit more sharper. Um, but overall, I think these are a great buy, uh, especially uh, if you're looking for um, pair which is great for traveling or vacations uh, if you're a beginner um, and, and basically for those who will use the binoculars in bright light at sea or in the, uh, in the snow uh, where the sunlight reflects ob off uh, objects so you're, you wouldn't suffer any uh, eye strain. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is all. If you like our videos, please subscribe and uh, see you in the next review. Bye.